Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muqtadir Abid and welcome to my channel. And uh, today in this video, we are going to show you how to create a floor simulation model using ArcGIS. And we are going to use two software of ArcGIS, ArcMap and ArcScene. So basically, first of all, we will use uh, digital elevation model data here. And you can find this data in artexplorer.usgs.gov and I will uh, give you the link of this website in description box below. And uh, from there we will download the SRTM data uh, which is the digital elevation model data. So now we are going to go to the art map and this is the art, uh, art map and we have added this uh, digital elevation model file here which you can see is .dif file so if you want to download an aerial imagery for this place you have to create an shape file of this area okay so we are going to create a shape file you can see a rectangle Okay, the drawing and uh, convert graphics to features. Yes, okay, and then we are going to the capture and aerial images for this so let's go to the uh, add a data from rgs online or you can add a face map we're going to add data from rgs online then set a pen shop and Okay, so here, here you can see this is the uh, area, aerial images, aerial imagery of this file. So I'm going to screen, uh, take a screenshot of this image. So I have a tool that I can capture only this portion of this uh, desktop. Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay, now we are going to add, uh, we are adding this image file here. Okay, so in this image here, this is not uh, in georeferenced yet. So we have to georeference this file before we can work with this image. Okay, so let's go to the uh, zoom and go to georeferencing and. Uh, Liquid to display.
uh, you can see I uh, I have um, called this image is uh, this picture uh, this place is belongs to this place so here you can see my place is already georeferenced and now I can update georeferencing for my tutorial video and here you can see my image is now fully georeferenced okay so now I am going to uh, I can use in this image in arc scene now I am going to arc scene open arc scene and this is the arc scene and uh, here you can uh, click add data very pretty much uh, similar to the um, arc map so first of all we have to connect to this folder to uh, work with this folder and then I am going to click here and 25.tif file and to add this here and here you can see I can work it and next I am going to add the tutorial for tutorial purpose images here and here it is okay so first of all I'm going to right click here and go to properties and I'm going to uh, call select the base height and uh, select floating on a custom surface okay okay here you can see this is uh, this doesn't make any, any sense so right click here uh, sorry right click here scene layer and go to scene properties and uh, go to general okay so here you can see now we are going to say do the same with this picture go to properties and go to base height and select the floating on custom surface and make sure you have select the uh, n25e091 uh, same uh, file uh, as this uh, and click apply okay so here you can see this is my map file here and you can see these are some hills and uh, some hillocks here and you can see here this is a river okay so now we are going to add one more shape file and this will be called a water level and we are going to select the its color as blue and see here okay and and if you uh, watch this uh, elevation model here you can see this uh, value is from minus 30 to 119064 uh, 19, so this last uh, elevation is minus 30 so we can go to water level and go to properties and go to base height and you can add a constant elevation offset as 7 is the perfect number okay so here we are this is our image here these are already uh, draw in water and now we're going to add a toolbar called animation here, here it is the animation okay so after you have added in this toolbar go to any animation and uh, click on animation manager and here you will create some animation create animation keyframe here okay and click here create and we'll add 10 okay so here in translation jet we are going to adding some values as first of all is a it is starting with 7 
now you're going to create the options and you can uh, you can select uh, the duration is an um, is 10 seconds by number of frames and uh, you can play mode this is play only on forward and loop forward and loop forward and reverse i'm going to select this loop forward and reverse and then we will play so here you can see this is our flood evolution simulation model is now created you can see uh, if we zoom in a little bit you will see here then now you can see this is water level is rising rising and decreasing yes this is gone and this is also gone and again So if we increase this duration as uh, 15 seconds, see what happened. Okay, thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video.